I have to let you guys in on a little secret. Something that I have not talked about yet. It's actually two little secrets. <laughs> I want to be completely honest here. When it was leading up to my birthday and Jason asked me what I wanted, honestly, I knew there really wasn't anything I wanted, like tactile thing, because I can just get stuff myself when I need it. And I'm getting stuff for Hawaii in like maybe a month or so. I'm gonna put in a big order on like two different websites, Amazon and Shein, to get us some supplies for Hawaii. And I'm using that budget from my Hawaii budget. So I'm already planning ahead. So I don't really need anything or want anything for my birthday. But there was one thing that suddenly came to my mind. When I told him what it was, he was like, that's what you want? And I was like, yep, but you have to, you have to deliver on all of it. This is an all or nothing. And he, if you guys know, he has to like recover from his last botched gift. He kind of did with Christmas. He botched it before that. <laughs> So, and he'll be complaining in the comments that I'm saying that, but that's okay because he knows it. And that's why I asked for, well, I have to preface this. I absolutely, with everything in my being, hate cleaning our bathroom. Any, any bathroom in this house, mainly. Yes, bathrooms are not fun to clean, but our bathroom has carpet. Our bathrooms all have tile, floor tile on the counters. The grout is like half an inch thick. It is basically cement. It hurts your hands to try and clean. Oh, I'm a wuss. I'm a baby. I hate it. I hate my bathrooms and I hate cleaning them. And I have a, a little teeny tiny shower stall and I, anyway, I was, it's just gross and I hate doing it. And so I don't, that's one of my secrets. I don't clean it very often. I, I mean, I don't even know the last time I cleaned it. I know that's gross and I know that's gonna shock some of you. <laughs> I just don't. So I asked for a housekeeper to come, cleaning lady, cleaning service, whatever you wanna call it, to come and clean all of our bathrooms. So I'm not sure if Jason caught on to the fact that I wanted all three done. I might find out today. Uh, but one of the caveats that he learned and he maybe isn't so happy with is that I didn't want to do any of the planning. I didn't wanna do any of the prep. I didn't wanna do any of the scheduling. I don't even want to be here. Like I don't even want to be at home for the consult, which is supposed to happen today. It was supposed to happen yesterday while he was nowhere around. And I was like, that's a hard no. No, this is my gift. I don't wanna have anything to do with it. I want to come home to clean bathrooms. That's all I want. I don't wanna have any part in the process. Oh. So he moved it from yesterday to today, but he doesn't know what time she's coming for the consult. So that's fabulous. And then he went skiing 20 minutes ago. I looked at my watch and there's nothing there. <laughs> I haven't got my watch on. I was late getting out of the bus stop with Ashley today. So he's kind of sending out an like an SOS text message to the company like, don't come until after 2 p.m. today because that's when he'll be home from skiing. But then he's gotta schedule her to come back, or him, to come back and clean when I'm, when I'm not here. And he has to be the one here. He has to let them in and he has to be the one here until they leave. So we'll see. We'll see if they can make it happen. I don't know. I, all of, a lot of my friends have cleaning ladies. I don't know that they would admit that. Some of them would, uh, but all of my neighbors have them. I do live in a nice area and people do have money to be able to pay for that. Something that I said I would never pay for, but this is a gift. This is a gift. This is a gift, but this is a gift. This is not like a monthly service that I'm paying for. This is, I mean, if he wants to gift that to me going forward, fantastic. Maybe we'll see how well she cleans the bathroom and we'll understand they do a lot better. <laughs> I don't know. All I know is that I want it really clean and I don't want to have anything to do with it. That's the deal. Problem with that is that this is the state of my room that you have to walk through to get to the bathroom. So you can see why this is kind of a conundrum for me because it's like I have to do the work before they can come and do the work. Jason would be like, ah, just don't worry about it. Just don't make the bed, it'll be fine. Okay, um, how about we put away all of the travel stuff that has just been staying on the floor here for like, I don't even know how long and the product from his brother that he works on that just sits here and his work mat and his um, yoga ball and more work stuff and that that shouldn't have been left there because he I don't know where he wanted to put it but it's not there or there. So like, this is embarrassing now. This is fine. This is, I mean, I wipe it off every day when I do my makeup. It's fine, tuck the chair in. Move on. This is the state of my dresser. So, you know, I mean, it looks like I have like a meth lab going on. <laughs> I have like so many medications and needles and like, who knows what's going on right here, right? Like, what is she doing, right? So then I had to like clean my bathroom. It's not, I'm not even gonna turn on the light because then you'll see all the toothpaste paste marks from all of our toothbrush 
you know, the electric ones. I know you guys all have them on your counters. If you don't, you're lying. But yeah, I don't know why there's a ball in our bathroom, probably from the bathtub. I really hope they clean the bathtub because, I, I mean, it's huge. You have to get into it to clean it. Here is the, uh, this is the, the pit of death right here. This is the shower. It's just, it's awful. We don't even know, you know. But then, you know, closet's fine, but they have to like, if they're gonna do the floors, they have to go into the closet, so then I have to come in here. Hold, hold on, okay, the light's orange, it's fine. So then I have to clean up my pile. Uh, this is, you're literally seeing all my secrets right now. <laughs> things that I don't show you. This is my pile of like garbage. I should get a garbage can in here. Maybe I'll go to Target today and get one. Cause like all the tags that come off your clothes or hangers that break, right? I just pile it on the floor. Cause you know, it's too hard to like walk around the corner and go put it in the other garbage. Um, and then this is my pile of donate stuff. I've, I've gotten another pile going like shorts and, and swimsuit stuff, but I need to go through and do more swimsuit stuff, you know, but then the rest of this is fine. I've got my shorts all night you know nice this is fantastic this is workout bra and underwear and this is nice how i don't know how he thinks this is organized but it, his system works for him but like is it embarrassing to have like a cleaning lady come and see this they have to come in here to like vacuum like do you see where it like <laughs> this becomes my burden i don't know why i asked for this you know going forward maybe it wouldn't be as big of a deal like if they were not a regular thing, but like, I don't, I don't know. But it's just like, uh, I have work to do before I have someone come to clean my house. And I know I, all my friends are like, I gotta rush home before the housekeeper comes. And I'm like, why? And now I understand why. I literally have never even had to have this mindset. It's a very new mindset. And then it'll be gone because I'll never have to worry about this again. Because I was so late. <laughs> thinking and worrying about and starting to prep this kind of stuff. I haven't even like gotten ready for the morning. I haven't um, taken my medicine. I haven't done my shots. I haven't, I probably haven't even put deodorant on. I literally was like so rushed to get out the door today that I haven't even done any of that. So gotta get that stuff done. And I think the one thing I'm gonna tackle is this pile right here. We still have many, many weeks before we go to Hawaii. So this stuff needs to at least get kind of packed up and tucked off to the side. I don't think I'm gonna bother putting it down into a suitcase. It's all our packing cubes and like my makeup bags, the travel bags and whatnot. And then I also thought, where did it go? I got a new uh, sunscreen stick at Target yesterday. It was on clearance. It was normally $14.99 and it was on sale for $3. And I was like, yes, please, in the cart. So this is what I'm gonna work on before I go downstairs. Okay, so I have a, a few empty bottles <laughs> to throw away. This is ridiculous. To be fair, my thyroid medication Oh my gosh, there's so much garbage here. This is kind of embarrassing. To be fair, my thyroid medication, when you're first starting to figure out your dose, it changes. So um, I have a 75 milligram bottle of leftovers. I have an 88 milligram. This one has a lot in it. She accidentally like let a refill go when we were only gonna test it for one more month. And so now I have a two month or possibly even three month supply of the 88 milligrams, but I'm on 100 milligrams. <laughs> And these suckers, this is my, you know, I'm on metformin. These suckers are so big that a one month supply is three containers. These pills are huge. So then I use these huge containers for the metformin, which I just have to keep an extra one in the drawer. Okay, so now straightened off, not cleaned and wiped off, but it's straightened up. Um, so now I use my empty, so I use my empty containers of these big ones for all of my needles all the leftover needles when I do my other shots. And I need to go and just see if I can take these to the pharmacy and, and see if I can dispose of them. You can't just throw them away. So I have to go find out, these are all needles. And this is just garbage. So I can throw, I just kind of keep the old pens in here and like all the garbage. That's just the little cap that comes off. Um, but I just need to throw it all away. So that's, okay, so that part is done. Now I'm going to sit down to this mess. And the problem is that it's gonna make me wanna pack. <laughs> it's gonna make me wanna go to Hawaii, but it's all straightened up. I just need to like put these into the bathroom. Or maybe I'll just set them here. I actually should wash this. Maybe I did. Do you guys remember? I think maybe I did wash this at one point. Um, I'm gonna go through those. This is sunscreen. Um, maybe I should wash the case. That actually is not a bad idea. 
So I might wash the case. But then see, it's just all these packing cubes. Oh, I did. I threw this one over here. Uh, this is Sheer Zinc Kids Mineral Sunscreen Stick. They like to pretend like these ones are the reef safe. Does it even say on here? They, if I don't know. People, the companies have learned if they put mineral on here, it's a key word that people are looking for when it comes to the reef safe sunscreens. And it's not. You have to look for the ingredients. And I'm not, I didn't buy this for the mineral. I bought it just for the sun's, the, the stick part of it. Um, I use these often when we're in the pool for doing your face, your forehead, your nose, because you can apply it really, really quick. And then they can hop back in really, really quick. It's just kind of super easy to use this one versus like the lotion. And we go through so much spray. It's ridiculous. So I like having these guys. Kind of just going through each of these cubes to kind of pack them all into the same color, because usually one kid will take one color scheme and put all their stuff in it so that they know that that's their stuff. But I'm just kind of going through them and <laughs> dirty underwear. Chelsea wrote that on there. And then this one says clean underwear. <laughs> My kids are so my kids. I have taught them well. This is for their socks, their underwear, inside their little packing cube so that they can kind of keep things compartmentalized. I have pa I have trained my kids very well. So I'm just going through this stuff and it'll be easy. I just need to like do it. Currently sitting here with Marco Polo and my sister. Well, I was sending her a Marco Polo and uh, I am now testing makeup palettes to see if I want to keep anything. This is Abby's bucket of stuff that she always gives me when she cleans out her makeup. These are like the little palettes that come from Marshalls that you get for like $2.99 or $3.99 or whatever as you're teaching your kids how to do makeup. And uh, I don't think I want any of these anymore. We'll see. So I'm just kind of going through them and I'm swatching them. Wait, I have a little makeup remover here, but I'm just going through and seeing if I want any of them. I don't know. Most of these I probably don't. I'm probably just gonna, and I don't think you can like donate this kind of stuff. I think you have to throw it away. Okay, this is all garbage. Garbage. I'm gonna keep that palette and that one. And then this area is straightened up. Throw that away. I think just because I might as well make the bed, uh, I'm gonna just take the sheets off and I'll put the other set on, the set look looks like that. And just get these ones washed up. Quiet voices in the night and Time is running out of sight Somehow, I don't know what happened, but something got into the load. Usually I just wash all my sheets at the same time but something got into this load and like turned all the like lighter portion leaves into blue. <laughs> so now I have one pillowcase that doesn't match anything else in the set. <laughs> and it makes me so sad. I finally had like whole sets that I could like change out when I'm doing laundry and now they don't, they don't all match. This one needs to get washed. So wait, what? It's just the one. Just this got in. That makes more sense. This must have gotten in a load with like a pair of jeans or something. And then the rest of it is all the right color. Okay, that makes me feel better. This is just the, I'm just going to have to have this be the case that like I hold it in. <laughs> anyway, so now I'm going to put this sheet set on. This is all the right color. Perfect. We are not fancy people. I do not have a fancy bed but the bed is made and I was gonna like do the whole like fancy hotel thing and actually like reverse the sheet so that actually when you folded it it showed and then I forgot and now I don't care which is why it never gets done because I always forget and somehow I only have two pillowcases I don't know where the other two are or if it came with four I don't remember but I don't have pillowcases for Jason's pillow so now I'll wait for this load to do to be done and then I'll just take two of those pillowcases and we'll have one of each just to add some color to the bed Are you guys like me and that you like to like make sure you get it all down in one load? <sighs> so you make it as stressful and burdensome as possible. And by the way, I had to do that twice because I had to bring the camera down. <laughs> oh, so can you even see that car right there? Jason got home from skiing, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half ago. Um, he got showered, cleaned up. I was working on editing a video and paying the last portion of our resort to Hawaii. <laughs> that was a hard one. And I, I was such a stupid mistake. I should have paid for it with our Hawaiian credit card. It would have been such a good chunk <laughs> on the credit card, regardless. Um, just as we pulled away, this car back here is just kind of parked in a really odd spot. 
it's not even parked it's in the middle of the road and we drove past it and I was like wait is that the housekeeper and he was like I don't know it doesn't have like Mary maids or something you know, I don't know what company it is um, and they're just parked in the middle of the road and I was like are they coming over do you know when they're gonna be here and he's like I don't know and I was like remember how this is your job this is <laughs> this is your job to communicate with them yeah, it's them. He looked at his message and they were like, okay, we'll be there in 20 minutes. That was 23 minutes ago. So now I have to sit in the car because I don't want to be in there. I don't want to have a part in the conversation. I don't want to have it be awkward and, and show people how messy my bathroom is and I don't want to clean it. <laughs> He's in there. I don't know how long it's going to take. I think it's just a consult. I think it, if you want to call it that, I think it's, they're just coming up with a price for what needs to be done and I sure hope he I'm gonna text him three bathrooms hang on for now it's just one is it one bathroom or is it all no three? it's all the bathrooms all three bathrooms situation just according to the comment sorry just clean them once why what do you thought it was like a, no, 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 no 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 but she was trying to get you to she was like well you just want me to do it once and I'm like well my wife's probably going to want you to do it more often, but for now, just once. <laughs> do I need to know the price tag on that? Or no? Uh, I guess you, you don't talk about price. W way cheaper than I expected. Oh. So I could do it more often. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't answer. He does not answer. I knew <laughs> this is going to be like Hawaii. First it'll be once every six months. And then it'll be like, well, you know, we got something special. So it'll be like every two months. And then you'll finally work it into where it's happening like each month. Oh. Uh, maybe maybe I'll do the I'll do the non answer like you. <laughs> if you get your YouTube channel to cover it all. <laughs> Which speaking of uh, we have been thinking about doing a Patreon page, which is a, a way for us to get um, members only access for you guys and you get different kind of content than non-members would get um, or early access. So different content or early access, um, but you pay for that membership and that's something that I've always just kind of felt guilty about asking, but it's also it's the, only method. It's the only method for us to get all like, not, to say, like we don't want your money but like I want to say thank you like the people have questions they have things and like unique stuff yeah and they've been so dedicated and everything that we're like well how can we like give them give, something give extra? back yeah and we've been researching it and stuff and it's like they, and they like, haven't really created a method I mean, well I they know. did super thanks but and I haven't ever mentioned this before but YouTube no, takes creating something I understand them. I understand YouTube takes a very large portion of the super thanks oh gosh, they funds. Take, like, the majority of it yeah uh, yeah and i didn't know that for a little while and then i anyway they do and so i know that you guys have supported us that way especially like oh here's a little bit extra for your trip to hawaii or whatever go have a fun awesome. dinner out that, those have been great things but i didn't realize you too takes the super and, and we just, just get, get left with the thanks yeah <laughs> <laughs> so but also like he said we want to be able to give back to you guys and have more interaction so here's yeah, an idea thing would be cool, like is live thing. so one would be early access to videos or and or um, doing a live video like once a month or twice a month or something like that and we would have like you know kind of dedicated topics or locations or we would come up with something like that and then you guys would be able to like you know pay for that to support us it could um, actually, so we were saying we could do like a live thing oh yeah what well, was our two ideas well obviously like if we're, we'll go to hawaii yeah they could come with us like on something yeah and be there as we're doing it yeah kind of thing can we uh, film at the same time but like at but as of like just regular life back at home it seems boring to us but we also enjoy like being live and chatting with you guys so we could have like dedicated um, themes, you know, that we would have dedicated things to talk about when we were doing certain live videos or something. Or Which you guys could give us ahead of time. Like, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. This, this is what we want to talk uh, about this month or whatever. Or whatever. So, that's our idea. Um, 
tell us down below what you think. If you've yeah. ever done that with any other channels, we don't want to feel like we are taking advantage of you um, by any means. We bring our content to you because you guys enjoy it and we enjoy sharing it. And um, another side note, um, huge shout out to those of you who have made your own videos. I just found out last night that, that our dear Pam that watches us and comments all the time has now created her own YouTube channel. That's I don't think cool. she wants me to announce what it is. If you do, Pam, let me know and I can tell everyone what it is. Oh yeah, it's good to support. But uh, she just made her first two videos of past trips that she has gone on and now has a new little passion as well as some of other the other of you uh, for making videos for upcoming trips. And I told you, as soon as you understand, oh, this is what I can create, it changes your mindset for what you're going to do in the future, for future trips or events or whatever. So that's why I'm bringing my content to you guys and I just wanna be able to give back to you. I wanna be able to like say thank you and I know how much you guys like live videos, but you know, Hawaii is always a fun place to do it, but. I, but if you want to do live videos like of us here at home, Patreon could be an easy access place and a safe place as well um, for us to be able to bring that to you. So let us know what you think. Well, All right, I'm going to end today's video. I'm going to get online and order our movie tickets. Jason and I are going to go see a movie. And kind of the kids seem to be having fun upstairs. i got to be careful because they're playing a... And Kanto, um, and I don't want to get a copyright strike. They're playing it really loud right above my head. Um, but I just want to say good night to you guys. Um, our uh, the cleaner comes on Monday when Jason is here, so I will take off and leave. I have a blood draw appointment, and then I think I'll go shopping or something, find something to do while the cleaners are here and uh, enjoy clean bathrooms when I come home. I'm very excited about that. So, for now, we will see you guys and talk to you next time. Bye guys.